for such a time as this, and then Ethan Thomas, which is his name. This tattoo, just one way Debbie Zagara remembers her son. Ethan was only 16 when he died by suicide in 2018. She's reminded of that day every time she hears of another teen suicide, first thinking about the child. And then I immediately go to the parents and think, you know, how, how do they feel? And then put them in my prayers because it's, it's such a long, hard journey and you feel so isolated. But they're not alone. Instead, joining a group of many more. Whenever this happens, it takes me back again to when I lost my husband. Nancy Eigel Miller's husband, Jim, died by suicide in 2008. She has since founded One in Five, a nonprofit dedicated to addressing the mental health crisis amongst children and teenagers. Eigel Miller says if a kid is considering suicide, parents may notice a dramatic change in behaviors. They break away from their friends, they start being really quiet, or they start having risky behavior, they lose weight, they gain weight, they're not sleeping, or they're sleeping too much. No child is immune. According to the CDC, suicide is the second leading cause of death for kids 10 to 14 years old. Zagara works closely with counselors who are seeing these mental health concerns firsthand. They have kids even in the elementary schools that are are talking about, you know, suicidal ideation and, and you know, just this this hopelessness. Life is so different now and there's so many stressors on these kids. If parents take away anything from her story, Zagara hopes it's this. One thing that I wish I could change in my story is I didn't ask the hard questions and dig a little deeper. You know, how's school going for you? How, how are your grades? How are your friends? You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.